Welcome to another video from Lockdown Electronics with Maybill. This time we've got a mini review of something that's again a little bit different. It's another product from Kaiweets and I asked Kaiweets if I could review this because I think it has some uh, useful applications in the field of uh, electronics. So let's have a look what we've got in the box. Okay here's the uh, device in question then. It's the uh, Apollo 7. I'm old enough to remember the original Apollo 7 unfortunately. Um, it's an infrared thermometer um, of the type which um, became unfortunately popular during the uh, uh, the days of the pandemic where people were using these kind of things to, to measure skin temperature. It um, isn't for measuring skin temperature, it makes that very clear in the uh, in the instructions. So let's see what we've got. Um, pretty straightforward we've got a manual which is a multilingual manual uh, and the English bit is eminently readable and was clearly written by somebody who does have command of the language which is good and then inside we've got the instrument itself in a handy uh, protective case something which I always find uh, quite useful if you're going to have this in a toolbox um, it's going to last a great deal longer in a little packet like that um, if that's not your kind of thing then don't worry about it okay so let's look at the device um, and uh, in common with these things it looks a little bit like a, a sort of a ray gun um, we've got the sensing head here and uh, an LED here which illuminates the area that the sensor is pointing at to give you an idea of um, what's going on the uh, operating trigger is there that switches it on and after about 30 seconds of no use it will um, it will switch off and then you've got uh, various arrangements on the back um, uh, does both uh, centigrade and Fahrenheit we're metric here in Europe thank goodness um, and uh, I just can't think in in Fahrenheit anymore metric just makes more sense I'm sure that'll be deeply unpopular if you're in a country that still uses Fahrenheit hey get used to it metrics good right um, nobody's paying me to say this okay so uh, one of the things it does talk about in the manual which I said is uh, very uh, readable and not too long and painful it talks about emissivity um, here and emissivity is uh, as it says the um, ability of an object to radiate infrared radiation and the greater the radiation rate the stronger the radiation ability of the object obviously um, and it says the emissivity of most organic or metal oxide surfaces is between 0.85 and 0.98 the thermometer is adjustable between 0.1 and 1.0 and 0.95 is the preset emissivity and then it gives you a list of things here that uh, with the emissivity level and I can see why they've picked uh, 0.95 as being um, a handy little uh, uh, way of uh, measuring things it's a, it's a good number to pick although the emissivity is adjustable and obviously you should bear that in mind if you want to measure something um, that has a markedly different emissivity to um, the things on this list here so I think that's that's uh, quite useful um, so let's have a look how she works it's really incredibly simple you simply squeeze the trigger and um, the display lights up uh, it's currently showing you the emissivity there at 0.95 there's a warning to say that it um, uh, contains a laser which is the LEDs on the front and if you press the button you can see there the pattern of LEDs um, is being lit up and that's the area that you need to be um, uh, that the instrument is measuring from so currently it makes my little pad to be about uh, 21 degrees um, and I'm guessing most things in here are going to be about yeah, 21, 22 degrees, something like that. So what is this used for? Well, I think if you just want a thermometer for your house, this clearly isn't the thing to use. Um, it's, it, it's, it's really um, for measuring things that potentially are a little bit too hot to touch or to get a, uh, shall we say, a more objective measurement. Now, the, the one thing that um, I think... Uh, this is potentially quite useful for from an electronics point of view is measuring the temperature of, uh, of components on a circuit board so I'm just going to get a circuit board and then we'll have a look at that in operation okay here's uh, my Raspberry Pi uh, Model 3B 
Uh, it's been switched on for about um, 30 minutes or so. It does have a a card in, so it is it is running software, although not connected to anything at the moment. So the processor is obviously uh, uh, working, as is the rest of the bits of the circuit. So I thought we'd look at the temperature of um, uh, the chips. Obviously the uh, main system on the chip here we can also measure. So I'm going to zoom out and then we'll see what the thermometer makes of that. Okay, um, so we'll switch the machine on, let it get settled, and I'm going to first of all aim at the system on a chip, which uh, you can hopefully see there, and it's coming up there saying that's about 33.8, um, nearly 34 degrees, so quite warm. Um, that's a much smaller target, so I'm going to go a little bit closer. That chip's cooler at about 27, and there's plenty of circuitry on the memory card, so what's what we're going to make of that? Let's actually avoid the metal and go onto the card itself it's about 24 a little bit cooler and then there's a few small chips around here which are again it's a bit difficult to get a precise measurement but they're clearly well above uh, ambient but the processor itself is the one that's um, really generating some heat so let's just uh, flip the circuit board over and see if we can get a comparative measurement okay so flipped it over and got the Kiwitz KM601 meter here with its thermocouple and I've just wedged the thermocouple into the heat sink um, on the system on a chip. Now it isn't actually uh, directly in contact with the metal um, so I wouldn't expect it to be exactly the same but it's as good as I'm going to get and it's hovering between well it's about about 31 it's been saying 31 consistently it's now gone to 30 now I've started the camera so let's see what the uh, infrared thermometer makes of it. Let's yeah, so that's saying about a degree and a half uh, warmer. Uh, bear in mind that's highly likely measuring the surface of the heat sink, which um, I suspect my thermocouple probe isn't, so that might explain the difference. However, it's um, it's a degree and a half or so, so it isn't actually very much. Let's just um, pop onto that one and see what we make of that. And that's coming out at about 30. So I'm going to swap the thermocouple over, see if I can get the thermocouple to stick in that one and see what we get. Okay, I've managed to move the thermocouple onto the second of the two chips there. It appears to be in better contact than it was on that one. Um, so hopefully we're getting a, a more a reliable result. So the KM601's uh, stabilised at about 29 degrees, something like that. It hasn't moved for uh, several minutes. So let's see what the... Um, infrared thermometer makes of that if I can position that over there and that's coming up at hopefully you can see that about 28.3 uh, something like that just depends on on where I position it 29 point something there briefly so it's a little bit closer uh, so it certainly does indeed uh, measure something similar um, but for me the usefulness of this isn't so much um, in the actual temporary measurement it gets but it's in the ability to uh, give you some idea of what's going on and i quite often see on uh, some of these retro computing repair videos that i'm rather fond of watching um, people like adrian's digital basement people like that uh, will quite often feel the chip uh, to see if it's see if it's warm and uh, one chip hotter than another can sometimes indicate a fault now that's subjective but it works um, so you know nice idea uh, this potentially uh, starts to give you a little bit of objective information as well it feels hotter so get this on and uh, let's just try that chip there and that's from that angle that's saying about 26 whereas the processor is definitely warmer at 32 now if I feel both of those it really doesn't make yeah that does feel slightly warmer I mean it is very subjective but I'd say it was warmer I mean tempted to think because it's a larger heat sink it's warmer but yeah it definitely does feel warmer and the thermometer confirms yeah a difference there of six or seven degrees so fingers are doing the job quite well that gives you some uh, more accurate information okay well that's it for my look at the Kiwitz Apollo 7 uh, infrared thermometer um, 
I actually think that's quite a nice and useful piece of kit. Now I've tried to show it uh, in this video being used in electronics application for obvious reasons because this channel is about electronics but I've also got um, an interest in, in machine tools and in, in engineering and I intend to do a little bit of uh, heat treatment of some metal later this year and I want to try and make use of this because it's uh, maximum temperature measurement is 550 degrees C so I'll be interested to see if uh, I can measure some much higher temperatures temperatures that I wouldn't obviously want to get in contact with so I think it's got a uses uh, other than just uh, electronics obviously hope you found it useful if you have and you fancy one check the link out below if you use the code you'll get some discount also helps the channel that applies to all Kiwi's products if you use that code you get discount and uh, that helps me thanks very much for watching hope it's been useful see you on the next video